Hello, StarCraft fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another edition of Into the Void. Today we're going to have a game between TomTom Tom and Lambda here on Blackpink The Ladder Edition. In the top right-hand corner of the map, we've got the Red Terran player. It is TomTom. Tom. And in the bottom left-hand corner is the Blue Protoss player, Lambda. Alright, so a PBT edition of Into the Void for you here today. This is just a replay sent to me at falconpaladin at gmail.com with the subject of Into the Void. It's a bronze or a silver league level game. People are just looking for advice, and the watchers and viewers of this video are looking for entertainment and education. All right. <laughs> Gateway first. Here from Lambda. Yes. Yes. You have a build order. Okay. Pylon. Into Gateway. Into Nexus. Are you brave enough? For into Nexus here, Lambda. What do you think, man? We'll want a simulator up anyway. Okay. That's fine. Want a simulator and then. Oh, no. Just scouting. Just scouting. All right, Lambda. You had a good start. I liked it very much. Terran Player, on the other hand, is going for a walled off barracks. Here at the front, really doesn't want the Reaper to come in and do. Or the Reaper. <laughs> the probe to come in and do anything. This is a pretty solid wall. Very nicely done. I assume Tom Tom has actually gone through some of the training. That StarCraft 2 provides for you with different races to show you how to wall off as Terran and how to macro as Zerg. And it's really actually not bad stuff if you are interested. It's versus AI and it's easy. It won't kill you while you're learning how to do stuff. So if you're a brand new player, I recommend you do that. It's very good. He does have four workers on gas though. You'll notice the red telling you not to do this. You just want three workers on each refinery. Same goes for assimilators and everything else. Uh, oh, pylon block, Lambda. Blocking off the natural base of TomTom Tom here while taking an expansion of his own. Okay. I'm on board with this. Lambda has enough money to throw down a second assimilator and a cybernetics core. And he needs to saturate his first assimilator and continue making probes. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot of stuff to keep track of you guys. But if you can do these little basic things, it will help you so much in your attempt to win games in StarCraft 2. What is this? SCV trying to finish off his pylon. Uh, not actually making any units. Well, I guess Marines are in production for Tom Tom. I lied. He's got some Marines coming in. Should be able to take down that pylon, but I think the Protoss player is ahead. If I had to guess, I would say it's ahead. The reason I checked my sound levels is because I had knocked them down to like 40 or 50, and for some reason they keep bumping themselves back up to 100 for sound effects, and I'm getting drowned out. I think... I posted a Railgun game yesterday, and I think I was getting blown out by the sound effects. Not horribly, but just enough. You couldn't maybe quite understand me all the way, which is not good. Sound is a struggle for casters, you guys. I mean, I don't know if you understand. I'm not going to whine about it too much, but really appreciate. Appreciate people you watch who have good sound balance between the game and themselves. Because it's impressive. It's an impressive feat, to be sure. All right. Tom Tom working on his expansion right now. Not going for a Reaper. Just making Marines. At this point in time, and you know what? Can't really blame him. Marines are really good. They are a good unit. Oh, he still has four workers on this gas, though. I mean, there's also... Oh, he just pulled it off. Oh, he heard me. He heard me through time and space and said, What? Oh, oh, thanks, Falcon, and pulled the SCV off. He also has an engineering bay, which he's not using for anything, unless he's going to make this natural a planetary fortress, which, not standard. Not something somebody like Innovation would do. I guess he doesn't need to, but at this level, I don't know that it hurts all that much. What you do want to do is make this main base an orbital command. I didn't even notice that. Okay, orbital command this thing right over here. Right over here. 150 minerals. It allows you to throw down mules and scan, and it's so stinking useful. Scan your opponent to see exactly what they're doing. They can't block it. They cannot block a scout from a scan sensor scan sweep. You can throw down mules to increase your mineral income by millions of percents. And out macro your opponent, assuming you can spend it fast enough. Anyway, it's real good. It's really good. You should do it for both of these bases, actually. Oh, he did, he heard my spiel. Wow, Tom Tom. I'm liking this. I'm liking this from you, dude. Listen to Falcon Paladin tips while playing. It's a new feature. You can sign up for it at falconpaladintips.com. Boy, I hope that's not actually a website. Uh, Adepts from Lambda. Thinking about scouting. If they're going to try to kill something, it's not going to happen. Static transfer, stop. Stop, adepts. Get back. One dies immediately. This is so much bio out of TomTom. Tom. Where did the other one go? Oh, canceled. <gasps> Lambda canceled his transfer. That's a good move. I don't think many bronze players know about is you can go ahead and static transfer here. 
creates an invulnerable shade you can scout with, but at the end of 11 seconds, it will bring your actual adept to where the shade is. Now, in a situation where you might have your shade pull you into the main base, you're trapped and dead because there's so much stuff here. Lambda recognized that, canceled the psionic transfer shade, and then the adept stayed where she was and didn't die. I like it. I like it so much. Okay, so Adept goes home, says this is a really big bioforce, actually, out of Tom Tom. And it is. Tom Tom's been keeping on top of his money, yo. Of course, he is down 27 to 46 harvesters. Holy smokes, Lambda. You've been working hard on the macro. I am impressed. Very impressed. Going for Zealot Charge. Oh, such a good upgrade. Such a good upgrade to go for Zealot Charge. And Robotic Spay. Disruptor? Colossus, maybe? I would not say no to Colossus here. If you can get it out. Uh, first an observer, which, okay, I cannot begrudge you making an observer. Scouting, as I mentioned, is really, really important here. Scans, sensor sweeps, and overlords and overseers and observers are all just integral tools. And in figuring out what your opponent is doing so that you can stop them. If you know what they're doing, you can stop them about 89% easier. It just is. It's a huge upgrade. I mean, I'll, I'll stop now, but just, just trust me on that one. It's very, very true. Extended Thermal Lance coming in here for Lambda. Getting that upgrade. If you're getting any number of Colossus, this is a good upgrade. Okay, I take it back. If you're making one Colossus, you don't need to get this upgrade. That's fair. But two or more. I would say two or more. Get Extended Thermal Lance. It just increases the utility of the Colossus by again. A big number. I'd give it a 48.3% increase to effectiveness. Double Engineering Bay, working on double upgrades. Guess Tom Tom, I'm liking this from him. The only thing I would say is Medivax. Uh, make a Starport and get Medivax. That increases the effectiveness of your bio by about 79%. Yes, I have a lot of percentages that I'm pulling out of my face and my brain right now that are not actually real, but you get the point. You get the point. There are things you can do to increase your chances of winning and getting Medivax for your bio is one of them. I promise. Lambda also getting a Templar Archives because he knows that Storm is super good against Bio. Colossus is Splash. Storm is Splash. Archons are Splash. Disruptors are Splash. Any kind of Splash damage, which means you affect an area of units rather than a single target, is real good against Bio because they all have very low HP pools. They do a ton of damage, and single target and targeting these guys down means the rest of his buddies will kill you before he can do much. Warping of... Oh, Charge Lot. Charge Lot Warping. I'm liking this. Out of Lambda, his first real... Oh, but the response from Tom Tom is just gorgeous. Wow. Thanks for coming, Zealots. You're all dead. I mean, Lambda, the good thing he did was got his Warp Prism out of there before it was too late. But I don't think anything died of those Zealots. No. Tom Tom has not lost a single unit in this game. Just kudos. Kudos to this man, Tom Tom. I like everything he's doing except for the complete and utter lack of Medivac. Also, this might be an overreaction to the War Prism drop. Is five missile turrets? I think two. One here and like one here would probably get it done. But man, this War Prism is never getting in. That's true. That's very true. Ooh, storm. Yes. Lambda. Lambda. Going for the storm. Okay, so Colossus and Storm against the Bio Force of Tom Tom. I am enjoying this immensely. How's a fourth base? He's warping in now too. Third base constructing for Tom. So these players. Macroing pretty well, I'd say, for the silvers and the bronzes. I would definitely put them in silver. And working their way towards uh, gold. I would say that for sure. All right, so Tom Tom marching out. This fourth base looks like it's in trouble. He's got a tank with him too, which is good. I like tank, but I'd really love medevac. See the stim? You're never going to heal that without medevacs, dude. This injury, this injury these guys have suffered will never be repaired. Here we go. Coming on in here, Colossus and Adepts and Stalker is pretty good actually here. Trying to pull it into the tank fire. Look at Tom Tom microwing. No, don't get on top of him though. No, Colossus one goes down. Colossus two almost down, but all the bio is almost gone here for Tom. Only two Marauders remain and a single tank. Yeah, that was scary. That was really scary for a second for both of those players. All right, so Storm is done. Do you actually have any High Templar? Mr. Lambda. Yes, three of them. Good. They don't come out with enough energy for a storm, which is unfortunate if you're trying to storm real fast, but that's okay. Just, oh, he has, they have enough energy anyway. All right, so good. There's some storm available against this continued bio tank pressure out of Tom Tom. War Prism hasn't tried to go back in, which is probably a good thing. And if I was Tom Tom, set up the tanks in range of this Nexus. Oh, I don't know. 
know if you have enough though. This is, I mean, these two Colossus with working on plus one, plus one upgrades. Two more Colossus in the tank here too. Mm. All right, Marines, Marauders. Yeah, goodbye probe. And trying to come up this ramp with two Colossus, three, four Colossus now. I mean, yeah, you could pull them into the tank all you want, buddy, but I don't think it's going to work. Lambda feeling pretty confident. He can break this. Observer scouting to see, is there anything else to worry about? Absolutely not. Goodbye, Tom Tom's things. You all dead. All right. Tom Tom struggling to spend his money now, as, again, most lower level players do. Well, maybe he's making medevacs. He's going double starport, which is great. Lambda decides it's time to counterattack. He's got Colossus and High Templar. So many High Templar. Eight of them. Okay, making three of them in Archons. That's good. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. I'd like to see... Okay, Lambda's floating 3,900... 4,000 minerals. Uh, just warp in a million zealots. Just do it. All these warp gates are on cooldown. You have the supply available to do it. Warp them in here. Let them catch up the rest of your army. A huge group of zealots would be really good. You have nine warp gates. Nine zealots. Okay, you're making a couple. That's good. That's pretty fantastic. Uh, are they coming? Yep, more zealots, more high Templar. This might be overbuilding casters. Uh, casters are, by definition, support units. They're there to support the beefy stuff that's actually doing the fighting. If you just go straight spellcaster, they just all die. So, I mean, it's not what Lambda is doing. He's just leaning that way a little bit. This is a lot of tier three stuff, guys. This is Colossus, Immortals, Archons, High Templar. All of this is tier three. And what we've got for Tom Tom is Marines, Marauders, and Tanks. And generally that's okay, but he doesn't have enough of it, I don't feel like. Also, again, I mentioned no medevacs. I did. However, however, he's reactoring both of these starports. I could see him double pumping medevacs starting now. And by golly, Vikings. All right. Uh, Vikings it is. Sure, you're going to kill the Colossus with a huge number of Vikings. But what about the Archons and the Zealots and the High Templar and the Immortals? What do you do with them? The answer is nothing. The Vikings can't help in that situation. Uh, Tom Tom is sneaking a fourth base down here, which if you were scouting a little bit better, Lambda, you wouldn't know that was happening. Lambda, expanding up the left side here too. This is not bad. This is really not a bad case of Into the Void. Additional Colossus here for Lambda. He, again, might be over making Colossus. Now, here's the thing. Any good Terran player worth his salt will know that Vikings are great against Colossus, they can hit them for one thing, and they do bonus damage versus armored good stuff, which is what a Colossus is. Uh, are we scouting this yet? No, you're so close to being able to shut down this fourth base if you just knew it was there, but yeah, don't. Okay, so plus one, plus one is done for Lambda, working on plus two, plus two. Tom Tom working on plus three, plus three at 12 and a half minutes. That is some good upgrade timing for Tom Tom. I'm actually impressed with that. Oh, has he made all of his bases orbital commands too? Tom Tom. All right, working on it. Here we go. Engaging on this ramp. High ground. The storms, though. Oh, the storms on everything. Archon's cleaning up what is remaining here. Good against the Vikings, too. And suddenly, it's 174 to 71 total supply. Lambda just cleaning up here. He can pretty much do whatever he wants now. That storm Archon Colossus attack just ripped apart everything Tom Tom had going for him. Tom Tom going to lose this natural base. Send some zealots to the third base too. Lambda splitting his forces, man. That's pretty good stuff. That is pretty good stuff. 47 SCVs have been killed so far. I think that's it. I mean, Tom Tom has some money to do stuff, but making marines and a tank, and it's just going to kind of trickle out of here just a little bit at a time. Lambda feels brave enough to come right up this ramp. And why not? There's a big storm on the small units that are remaining. Tank doesn't get into siege mode. Making some medevacs after everybody's dead. Oh, medevacs. There's nothing for you to heal anymore. Yeah, that's going to be all she wrote. Lambda's your winner. Pretty darn good macro, too. There's a good game out of Tom Tom. Lambda is victorious. Tom Tom defeated. And Lambda wants to stick around and kill stuff, presumably for the XP. No, just kidding. Decides not to stick around for the XP. So, all right. Recommendations for Tom Tom. More harassment. Uh, the early attack that you had was good, but liberator harassment, drop harassment. Uh, you can't just do one attack in 14 minutes and hope it's enough to win the game. You just can't. Your Protoss player is going to tech up to Tier 3 like this and roll you. Uh, again, I think this just came down to a matter of who made more stuff. Obviously, the army supply was vastly different. Lambda also had this very expensive Tier 3 stuff going on. How many Archons? Five Archons at the end of the game. How many Colossus? Four Colossus. Three High Templar. Un-Immortal that had 13 kills. 
Yep. This is how you do. This is how you do against Terran Protoss. Take notes. Take notes is what I say. All right. So that's going to be it for me. This has been Falcon Paladin with yet another edition of Into the Void. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and a Patreon. All at slash Falcon Paladin. And in next time, until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching. And you take care of yourself. Broken and ashamed By what you have done There is no redemption And so you must run And it's taken your heart And broken your soul You cannot go back Until you're made whole And you're running to